Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2019 in Chicago, the Windy City, the city of broad shoulders. And I'm talking to Michael Lyons, who's here at Swift Engineering. How you doing, Michael? Very well, thank you. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Now, hanging directly above our heads is this amazing looking aircraft. What's going on here? So what we've developed is a, uh, a tail sitter that's in a very odd configuration and it's kind of new and uh, going for very long endurance. We're going for over two hours of endurance and uh, some interesting flight behaviors, some high alpha maneuvers. Now when you say over two hours, is this electric or is it gas? So this is a hybrid electric. Um, so in the way that there are two different types of uh, battery chemistry, one is lithium ion, one is lithium polymer, and then we have an intelligent battery management system that is all the time distributing power and moving it around. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Why have two separate types of batteries on board? So for uh, vertical takeoff, you're going to need a lot of uh, high capacity, a lot of discharge, and so high current, and the two main motors are going to show that. And then uh, we're going to switch power to uh, kind of a more high efficiency, low discharge rate. We're going to actually shut the, the first two motors off and break them in the air and they fold back. And then the other two uh, are there for long endurance. All right, and so who's the uh, target audience, the target market for this bird? So the target market for this is, um, we have a lot of military customers, but we, this is our first commercial product that we're actually pushing out. Um, so anybody that's gonna do um, some, a lot of photogrammetry and or um, beyond visual line of sight, line inspection, obviously going through the FAA's of procedures. No beyond v loss without permission, guys. <laughs> yes. So the target is to do a lot of uh, a lot of area or a lot of linear infrastructure. Got it. Oh, and so what kind of flight control are you using? So we traditionally in the past we have used a proprietary in-house flight controller, but the industry I think is going and we're working with a lot of partners, uh, the the PX4 group and Aterion and uh, a lot of the other uh, independent vendors that are really going to this. So what we're doing is we're actually taking their software and putting it on our automotive grade safety certified in-house um, flight controller and hopefully we'll be releasing that as a product but some of the benefits of doing this is that we get to take some of the aerodynamic tools and some of the simulation and some of the things that everybody can use and push them back upstream. Wow, so you're going to share the stuff that helps make this thing fly on the internet so everybody can use it? Yes, that's, that's the goal and we hope other vendors do the exact same thing so we can all work together to get these drones really out there. I'm not sure you understand how the whole intellectual property thing works, but I love it. That is so good of you to share. Where can people find this if they want to get it? So there will be uh, the Swift Engineering GitHub. That will be here in a couple weeks. That will be released there. And uh, honestly, it will be on the PX4 main. So we will, our pull requests will go into them. They will approve it. And then you'll be it'll be just part of the next download, the next release that comes out of uh, PX4. Well, that is amazing. I really hope other people in the industry follow your lead because that, that really does move the whole industry forward. So thank you very, very much. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. And from Exponential 2019 in Chicago, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Mike.